Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a 1v1 versus one of our viewers who is currently sitting at around 1000 ELO uh, and he hasn't played it in a long time. I'm currently sitting at 2800 ELO-ish, rank 1 and I play every day. This is not a fair match unless we give him some handicap. So he's going to be at 150% handicap which means that his buildings would have 1.5 times more HP, his builds will have more, more HP, his builds will gather 1.5 times faster. Basically, everything he does, the bonus damage his units do, is going to be 1.5 times more. So it's pretty damn strong. And just to get you guys caught up on the lore, as I mentioned in the chat, he's saying hi, YouTube, as well. Um, we did play another a match, me and him, and it was a 200% handicap on Arabia. I got demolished. It was not even close. I got wrecked. And I lost the footage. And I know it looks suspicious, like I threw the footage down the drain because I got wrecked. But I promise there's no ego about this. It was actually just lost fair and square, which is unfortunate. I apologized to him, but he was cool with it. And he uh, wanted a, another match. And I said, okay, but take it easy on me. This time we're doing 150%. And uh, he thought that would be more fair as well. So let's see how it's going to be. He doesn't. He denies me the good luck of fun. We both go random civ. It's going to be on Arena this time, uh, which is going to be very cool, actually. I do like me some Arena. Uh, got to get the audio lower, though. Oh, my God. It's so loud. Damn. 18. Got to be a clean number. Very nice. Uh, we got Koreans versus Franks. Okay, so he's gonna have uh, a 1.5 times everything basically. So I'm curious to see how fast he develops. Uh, that also means he's gonna be reaching uh, the next age quite fast. Oh, that also means he starts with 1.5 times more resources. By the way, so it's huge. It's huge. Like handicap. If you've ever touched and touched it and played with it, you'll understand just how uh, how strong it is. Um, but either way. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I'm going to be playing some arena like I usually do. Deleting the walls on the sides. I don't do this for no reason. I do this to clear up space, by the way. I highly recommend it. It's amazing. And then we basically just learn some deer and chill. Uh, talk about whatever there is to talk about here. Focus on the first deer, though. Don't want to mess that one up. I'll take that back. Uh, wood line or the one. I think the one closer is actually better. I can drop a TC there uh, one day. Okay, so what I'm expecting from this game, I'm expecting him to be much stronger than me early on. Uh, so I'm going to try to drag it as long as I possibly can. Now, he picked Arena because he wanted a closed, maps, uh, a closed map to help him with his noobish tendencies. That was the words he used. Um, but I also think that the Arena map favors me um, in this kind of setting. Because I don't want to deal with knights or like a forward castle early. I want to have the stone walls to help protect me at least a little bit. And probably try to stall the game out till like, not exactly late game, but you know, till, till at least in pure age so I can get some of my strong units going and have time to develop. Because as far as time goes, he's going to be, you know, doing much things much quicker. And as you can see, he already has a little bit of a score lead here. Uh, go to eh, boar, I guess. I'll take a boar. Why not? I might have to eat one sheep though, but I don't mind eating one sheep. Next, we'll go to berries. I'm going to hold off on this last deer there. All right, take the boar, run it back. House, then mill. Very nice. I'm, I'm going to just wait. You'll see. I could kill the deer, but I'm just going to wait because I don't want to have too much uh, food rotting. Uh, you don't have to do this, by the way. I, I only do this on Arena because there's literally nothing else to do with the scout anyway. So I might as well get like a perfect dealer in. Uh, but you don't have to do this. It's not a big deal. It's whatever. All right. All right. So we'll leave him there. Basically, when he runs back, he's going to run straight to the center of my TC. And then we'll kill him. Um, and it should be good. Uh, next up... Oh, I could lure the board with my scout, actually. I don't think I'll use my scout for much else. Until Castle Age, where I can just heal him anyway. I don't think I'm, I'm going to be fighting for Relic. Just pure booming. There you go. There goes back the deer. And right into my hands. <laughs> That's actually kind of cruel. If you really think about it. But, yeah. Just kind of toying with him a little bit. But it is what it is. Alright. I mean, the deer didn't understand what happened, so I guess it's fine. Let's get some water in. Gotta say, hydrate it.
Okay. Gold and stone outside my base. I have to be mindful of that. Next few villages will go over to the wood. And I guess I can scout the map a little bit. I have to be mindful that he probably will hit Feudal Age faster. And honestly, because he's Franks, I expect him to forward castle me for some reason. I have a sneaky suspicion he's going to try that. It's also like the perfect, like... Like, it's the perfect low-level strategy to to pull off because it's easy to do and it's actually really hard to stop and because he's got like the handicap the castle will have a lot more hp so it's like virtually unstoppable or, or unbreakable if he just gets a forward castle here it's gonna it's gonna go up i think it'd be a good strap i'm gonna do my standard 24 uh 24 pop plus two and that's it <laughs> How did he see that? Who clicks the scouts? <laughs> That's actually hilarious. <laughs> He's the guy with the handicap calling me a tryhard. <laughs> How did he even see that? <laughs> this guy's jokes, man. This guy's jokes. Alright. Um, I remember, actually, it's funny because the first uh, game we played on 200% handicap, there was also some really funny moments in there. So I, I was very sad to actually lose that footage. All right, so uh, uh, um, let's do it like that. What is optimized build order for slow castle? Uh, 27 pop, then no bills, then castle age. Trust. That's the, that's the optimized build for a slow castle. Uh, we got to get a couple farms down here, by the way. Don't worry about them not being horse collar farms. It doesn't really matter too much. Are we going to hit first? No way. I thought for sure he'd be first. I'm going to make my market and my blacksmith on purpose in front of my base to act as kind of a wall. No, no, no. Run, run, run. Uh, okay, that's fine. All right. He hit Feudal Age at a pretty reasonable time. We'll make two of those. And then I'll for sure have enough food to click up afterwards. Farm. There we go. Perfect. And we're up. And this is Korean, so no eco bonus. That's why it's pretty tight build. But otherwise, you know, if you have any kind of eco bonus, it should be a pretty, uh, you know, pretty comfortable build for you. Could've, could've always made a couple extra farms as well. Definitely cheaped out on the farms. Only made three. Usually I go up to like four or five. Um. Alright, so definitely wait up to castle now get double bit axe first and then a horse collar because this gives me a lot more resources per second which is what i want or resources per minute i guess more accurate way to describe that and horse collar as soon as i can after horse collar make a couple more farms also a couple more things i need to do it's so i need to think of my tc spots and also maybe i'll scout the map a little bit just to see if he's going for forward castle I'm really scared of that. Also, like, my stone is kind of exposed, right? Two stones. Castle here can be really hard to defend. TC has to go down here, and then TC here would be perfect. Yeah, maybe here. There and there. Perfect. We TC boom. Pretty standard stuff. Nothing too crazy. He goes for the market. Okay. I mean, if his plan is just to boom, I think he might be a little bit in trouble. Because my boom is not going to be that much weaker than his. At least I think so. Let's house wall that. A couple more. Good farms, please. Only good farms here. Oh, he matched my castle. That was pretty impressive, though. Very nice. 
All right, perfect. BTC right away. Goes to the outpost and see, look, his, his villager has 37 HP. I think those outposts are kind of unnecessary. So he's, he's probably planning to boom then. I know that for sure. That's the fight. <laughs> he went all the way in. <laughs> Normally it's just to keep the gate open, but... I, I could let him out. This is actually kind of bad for me because I don't have loom, so I'm going to have to try to hover him. Alright. Man, bo booming with a no eco bonus sieve is just so painful sometimes. I <laughs> honest scout, don't shoot. I'm definitely gonna kill that scout. I, I don't think I should have mercy on him. Alright, this is fine. That that's actually the fairest I can do. Cause now he's not a threat to anyone, you know? I just neutralized the threat. I beat his <laughs> I beat his ass but let him walk. <laughs> that seems fair to me, that seems fair to me. I'm gonna skip uh, this upgrade as well. Really don't like doing that, but hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you can't really pick it up. Does he know it's still there? I don't think so. I don't think he's checked back. It's funny, he told me he hasn't played. He only played one game since the last time he played. Last time he played was like a month and a half ago. So yeah, he, he's like rusty in theory. And with only 150% handicap. I say only, but it's actually kind of a lot. Okay, he realized. Nice. He's auto scouting now. Nice. That means I can get my scout outside, though, so I can start gathering some information. Cast on the center. So random. Cast on center? <laughs> this is almost like never seen. This is so, so strange. And his score is so much higher though. You can already tell his his development's just better. If we're gonna snag this monk. That would be huge. Yeah, that's gonna annoy him a lot, actually. Nice. Took no damage too. He's not happy about that, I'm sure. Good. Good. The uh, price is very high. Oh, I killed the scouts. I kind of didn't mean to do that. I think I clicked him, but I, I wasn't thinking. Whatever, it's fine. Get the scout out of there. It's a war game. Do I do the fourth TC? I need to start taking some stone yesterday, man. I'm a bit panicked about that. Perfect. Team developing here. Handcart. Perfect. You guys saw my handcart video. 
You have to get handcart as soon as you can. As soon as you can get wheelbarrow, you get it, then you get handcart right after. That is the best time to get it. It's a very good upgrade. A university, maybe a monastery too. Is he gonna like his score is so high, man? This is so scary. Damage just has a much better economy than I than I have, and he's picking up with the relics. Now he's planning a siege push. I think me going on stone so late is kind of problematic. Second castle, he really should have made the castles forward. That's the thing with these games, is that I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on in his mind because we don't really like we can't really understand how strong 150% handicap is. So he might think he's not that far ahead. But like judging from the situation and from what I know, he is so far ahead. So had he just gone with the forward castle right away, I might actually just be dead on the spot. Because <laughs> there's really not much I can do to counter what he has there. At least not yet. I don't really need many more farms. This is fine. That's that's enough. That's enough. A lot of my farms will start running out now. Hmm. Yeah, I just go Arblast Halb. Maybe I go Siege Onager. Yeah, maybe I go Siege Onager. That might be the best unit to go for. Halb SO. Halb SO sounds dope. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because I think Siege Onager would be the one unit that just doesn't die to, like, more units. You know what I mean? I don't think he can overwhelm Halb SO very easily. One second here. All right, sorry about that. Go ahead. Is he just going to go Paladin? I think he is. Oh. Yeah, we got to prepare a defense here. Holy moly, his score is so high. Oh my god. He already got Cavalier. His tech to research faster as well. Oh my god. He killed his own ram as well, by the way. That's funny. I might have to stop making bills. I don't know. Make them and send them out here, maybe. That's the Tarth on the other side. That's so funny. I'm ready for him, though. That's why, that's why I always make the second layer of walls. It's not by accident. It's completely on purpose. That's a really good hit. Nice. Crabs need to come out. I need onagers, man. Try to break out. I don't think he'll scout this. It's the cav. That's what I love about arena. It's like a, a bit of booming and then you just constantly fight it. The 
It's just 30 minutes. This is literally early imp and he's already like full comp basically. Oh my god. Another castle. And he's got the trebs. Oh, this is going to be hard. I need the SO, man. Unless I could just dive with the halb. Yeah, I need to keep that castle alive, I'm sure. But I think he's even producing units really fast. Okay. Elite throwing axemen. You're joking. I really need uh, honor jersey here. Another castle, yeah? <laughs> Another castle. Axeman slapping me at the moment. Because I kind of have to open Halb. Uh, Halb is so should be good against this, but I just didn't have the time. I'm getting squeezed down. I think it's still winnable. No oh, castles are in no short supply at the moment. By that much. And meanwhile, I'm getting raided by Paladin after action, and he's got five relics, and he has no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh, this is fair. <laughs> well, I think we can start telling he doesn't really. <laughs> I think we can start telling he doesn't have any idea what's going on with those axemen. Are we getting a little too close to my onagers here? All right, I finally killed those. But I have no expansion now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I mean, if, maybe he doesn't know he has Bomber Cannon. That's my win con. If he doesn't know he has Bomber Cannon, shit, he's using. Uh, I need my own Bomber Cannon then. I wonder how much gold he has. One fifty percent handicap, one K Elo versus the literal pro, and it, I can't do anything, man. Handicap is broken. I'm not, I'm not done yet, though. Actually, Loki have a chance. Loki have a chance to push this back. Those castles have so much HP, though. Eight thousand, and he doesn't even have upgrades for them. To delete that, that siege workshop is terrible. My base was not laid out for it to like get collapsed that fast. I need to get SO. I definitely chose the right combo. Can you imagine if I went Arbless? I would have got ruled by a freaking paladin. 
Throwing action are good, but at least this comp gives me a chance, you know? I do need bomber cannons too. I also need siege engineers. Honestly, I watched the last video on onagers. I think I think we go siege onager here. No way, right? You're crazy. It was kind of decent, my ships killed that castle. It was kind of decent. God, that was such a big push from him. I lost all my numbers, by the way. more production again I have no space I take it back I don't think a reading is good for me I think it was a bad map for me Holy moly, I swear, he has like infinite gold. And I don't think it's because of the relics. The shots I'm landing in a regular game would be insane. <laughs> Wall of in. Oh, he's not walled in though. Now he is. It's kind of nice. Oh, yo, that's so satisfying. Somehow save up for another castle. Oh, this castle's mad. I never got SO as well. Gotta save up for another castle. She scores really close somehow. Probably because the KD is so good for me. Taking my golds. Definitely want to stop that. Also want to wall this up so you can't really just run in for free. Oh my god. Holy moly. There's another castle there.
Okay. No way. It makes it so fast. That's a good one. We've got a banger game on our hands. Okay, now we save up for a siege monitor. Maybe one day. <laughs> I'm lacking gold. This is where the relics are a big problem. I, I didn't really get any of my gold as well. He's just amazing throwing Axemen again. <laughs> I love how he's sending in the Paladin. <laughs> he's got no care in the world. <laughs> he's not taking care of his units. He has the honor as well. He's like, I want to try that out. Might as well. He's running. Okay, nice. Thank God I didn't go Arbalest. Arbalest would have been garbage. <laughs> yes, you do that. I got the score lead. <laughs> it's just house. <laughs> Oh. Oh. He needs gold. Yes, same, same. That's same. That's good. I, I know why he needs gold. He's wasting it all. I need gold because I didn't touch gold all game. There's differences between me and him, but we both still need gold. Do I just stall? He has the five relics. Stalling doesn't even work. Uh, maybe I target this. He literally controls the entire arena. It is it, it is a crime against humanity if I win this game. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way I can win this game. He's toast, he's toast to shoot. Back. Got him. Wow, I got Esso. I don't know how he afforded that. It, it's, a, it's an absolute must, by the way, because Esso does way more damage. It's my only hope. I don't even have full upgrades, by the way. I'm missing the unique attack and everything, but... Oh... Oh no. The shot he's taking. Unholy the shot he's taking. Like, that, it's crazy. I lost the fight. <laughs> he took, look at the fight. That, that's, a, that's a bad trade for me. <laughs> that's insane. Imagine that being a bad trade. That's such a fa Oh my god. How are you the guy lacking gold? You can't be for real. I absolutely do not deserve to win. He, you don't deserve to win this game. <laughs> you wasted so much gold. <laughs> he has another castle. <laughs> you wasted, look at those chumps. Wasting so much gold. You don't deserve to win. I killed my castle, so it's actually worth it. Maybe I should have taken the relics, man. I don't know. I want to get a nice boom. Even like like this, I barely survived, so I don't even regret it, man. Oh, SO came in, but it's obviously a bit too late now. I could try Bomber Cannon. Try to push back. Uh... Oh, what? I point blank shot him. <laughs> All right, that's the thing. And I know I'm Korean, but uh, I don't know it's like that. I will do two cannons and then make SO, I guess. Have, should I have that be enough? I mean, my helps are like. I know I have the score lead, but it's very deceitful. Like, I'm definitely not winning right now.
I only regret this game is the fact that he had the relics. Everything else I think was went pretty well for us. Get a couple more SO. I guess three SO is what I want. Ideally I have like five or six. So I could one shot Paladin, but three is enough to like one shot big mass of everything. I mean realistically two is okay as well, but you know, just get the three for extra firepower. There we go. A bit more help. Yeah, at least now he can't run in. Whatever that's worth. Yeah. I need to spam help. One more ISO, one more ISO. Let's make it four. This is my last effort though, because after this I'm really, really out of like everything. Now I still had a little bit of gold left over from earlier. Yeah, yeah, this is it. But basically, if I don't get some serious damage now. Come on, let me live. I lost the cannon. Shoot. <laughs> it's literally a, it's literally a massacre. <laughs> it's literally a massacre. This is so much fun. <laughs> this might be my new favorite game mode. It's just like <laughs> it's crazy how good the fight I'm taking is, and it's still better for my opponent. It's insane. I have never been in a situation like this. I'm I'm winning every fight, and I'm still I don't want to take them. You know. I wonder what his situations look like. How much gold does he have? Or like extra food, you know? Like, is this light cap spam even an issue for him? It has to be an issue. Look at the traits. <laughs> Those traits are crazy. Also, the best part is he has time to type. You know what I mean? Like, I'm out here sitting, microing my ass off, and he's like typing on top of everything. <laughs> I agree with that though. Good take, good take. Just kidding. Before you guys. No, Hero Franks are broken at my ELO. It's a joke. It's a joke, guys. I can already sense you guys. I know Franks, Franks is sense of the topic. I know. Been there, been there. I don't know if it's still a problem like it used to be. This is a straight up like master class on how to use Halba so by the way. <laughs> like, no offense though, but he's taking the worst fights imaginable. I say that as I just squashed 20 of my own halves. I hit these for sure, bro. Yeah, I'm hitting Bro, you already know it. if there's a free throw, I'm lining up to take the shot, bro. As long as it's an age of vampires. I think I'm wasting a lot of my halves here. I've been at this castle for ages. Can it go down already? Oh, it's raining death. Yes! I didn't lose a lot of my siege as well. Damn it. Oh, you're not allowed to take my gold. That, what just happened was like the meme, you know the meme where it's like I'm looking at my my army I'm killing everyone then I look back at my base. That's literally the meme uh... Shoot
Uh, I lost my market somehow. Most important building for me right now. Problem is, like, even food is becoming an issue for me, not just gold, like it used to be. He's losing cannons, bro, like it's nothing. Nah, I think it's done. Yeah, we have solo pop. GG. But honestly, like, it's not even well played. I, I usually think GG well played in these games, but it's not even well played. Feels on wheels. You got, you freaking... He was spamming Paladin and like Kappa and just losing though. Even he knows what happened. Let's see that KD. Look, how, how is he sustaining this? He has... What? 30 farms? What? With that many like Kappa? Oh, he's farming out here. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Nine. I, I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm not so sure if if at Arabia I win. Like handicap is ridiculously strong. Nonetheless, though, that was such a fun game. It, it, it felt like I was playing zombies and the waves kept coming, and I was just dealing with them. It was such a fun game. Very fun experience. I want to do more more things like this uh, with, with handicap. That was a good time. So thank you, Feels on Wheels. It's a good game. Um, that is really flattering. <laughs> also a funny guy, honestly. <sighs> Look at the gold. 32,000 gold on me. This was the most unfair game I've ever played. It felt more unfair than the last time when we did 200%. Because I got... I had like a hope of victory. Like, you know, I got a little taste for it. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy. Let me know if the in the comments if you want to see more like this with uh, different handicap settings. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Peace. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.